And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Alrighty, good Thursday morning. Temperatures are just near and of above freezing here. So a little bit of frost can be expect, expected. Maybe a little bit of patchy fog here and there across low-lying areas near bodies of water, lakes, creeks, rivers and such. But 36 right now. Logansport uh, cool 34. Flora, Delphi 35. Lafayette down to freezing down toward Covington, Crawfordsville and Frankfurt. 34 there in Morocco in Rensselaer, Remington this morning. High pressure right overhead just to our west. This is going to move off to the east. Help warm us up a little bit, give us more southerly winds, but our cold front will start to move in uh, tomorrow morning, midday, and should give us a decent evening for some high school football games. Well, it should be dry by then. So let's time it out here with Futurecast. Notice today we're going to be seeing a mainly sunny day, not much to write home about. There's those south winds as the high pressure is now further off to the east, 5 o'clock this evening. Mostly sunny day and then as we get toward tonight, we'll increase the cloud coverage, which again will act as a blanket. That means we won't get as cold tomorrow morning, but we will be tracking an isolated, a scattered little shower or two, maybe a, a rumble of thunder, but nothing severe for this event for tonight into tomorrow morning, but mainly 430 is when we could see maybe a few sprinkles, but the heavier rain may come in by 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Each one of these little cells could have again a little rumble of thunder, some brief heavy rain, and then this moves on off to the east by noon, 1, 2 o'clock. We'll start to see things get a little bit better as the front has already passed. The clouds exit the area and Friday night lights looks pretty nice. We'll be seeing kind of a northwesterly wind. A little cool out there for sure. Temperatures will be pretty cool for the evening and then we'll clear out nicely for Saturday, making way for a lot of sun and a fall like weekend for Saturday and Sunday. As far as rainfall goes, I think some of these amounts are just on the lower side. I think a quarter of an inch or less looks pretty good for the majority of the area. I think the further northwest you are of Lafayette, that's where the heaviest amounts will be as it works in a more drier air as it pushes off to the east with that cold front. So don't expect a lot of rain with this, but we'll take what we can get with the conditions that we have. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're going to show that fresh new drought monitor at noon today. So you'll want to tune in then for the latest kind of drought conditions, especially since we've barely seen much rain over the last week. Today's planner again, plenty of sunshine should be a nice sunny day. Temperatures mid 60s for highs, but you'll need that coat this morning. It is rather chilly. Temperatures in the mid to lower 30s, patchy fog, a little bit of frost out there. And then tomorrow, that's where we'll see the scattered to isolated rain chances. We're only keeping about 40 to 60% coverage here for some of these rain showers. It's not going to be like a widespread heavy rainfall event, just some scattered isolated showers here and there. We will reach up into the upper 60s by that cold front as the cold front passes. There's the wind change there will start to cool down. Futurecast moving ahead. The weekend looks fantastic. A few clouds here or there Saturday, Sunday night or Sunday morning. There's high pressure really taking care of our forecast. Then our next system, we're going to start to get cloudy and very windy Monday going into Tuesday and Wednesday going to be very warm. Monday, Tuesday looks like 80s very strong southerly winds ahead of our next cold front. We could have some severe weather along this line Wednesday evening, but as of now, this looks like it'll come in uh, to our area Thursday morning, midday, which will limit that severe weather chance for us as it uh, probably grows more as it reaches off to the east. But we have a week to kind of nail out the timing of that cold front. That'll move in late next week, so we'll keep you updated. But the weekend looks fantastic. 62 for a high on Saturday and then 63 on Sunday. But that morning low Sunday, it's going to get rather chilly below freezing possible. But we warm right back up 73 Monday. Big heat wave for this time of year, 80. Well, that's 20 degrees above normal Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Then those chances of storms come in 
likely by Thursday, Stacey. I love that, the 80s. So hey, you're getting excited about that. <laughs> yes, I am. Hey, by the way, did you have a good birthday? I did. We had a great time. We uh, spent, uh, we went down to dinner in Indy, and mm -hmm. then we had dinner with the family on Sunday, and then good. fall break with the kiddos on Monday and Tuesday. So kind of a relaxing time. It's nice just to relax and chill with yes, the family. All right. Yeah, today's going to be great to be outside, too, so another day to be outside and enjoy it. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, yeah. David.